Hi, welcome to Christine's Reborn World. In this episode, I'm going to talk about, well, I'm supposed to be getting a service dog, a seizure response dog. I just found out that I'm doing some research on the service dog right now. And found that the prices are a little bit higher than what I thought they are going to be about. And they are $20,000, which is a little more work than what I can afford beyond disabilities. So now that we know the prices of a service dog, I do not think that I'd be getting my service dog after all. So we had to find a way that for me to keep on getting her dog, we had to find a way for me to uh, get the money. The reason why I was going to get a search dog in the first place is because of my epilepsy. I've been having a lot of seizures every time I go out. And I like to go out anywhere by myself because of my epilepsy. So my counselor suggested me to get a service dog and now I just recently found out today that there are $20,000 to get the dog trained. So that's like, that would take me four years to save up. So I know I can never afford that kind of money. So we have to try to find do a fundraiser or some time, something to get that much money or else I will not be able to get service dog. Leave down in the comments below if you're on disability or some kind of fund where you won't be able to afford a service dog and how you'll be getting the money saved up. I might be doing a fundraiser, I'm thinking, but it's kind of hard living life with epilepsy, with epilepsy, seizures. So I'll be talking to my counselor again in two weeks and telling her it's too much money for me to afford. My family thinks that is too crazy and high. And they definitely said no to that. Which is kind of a little upsetting because I really have my mind on to it. But I guess that's how things go. If I was going to get it, I was going to get just a little toy dog, like a Tuala maybe, or a Perini or something small. That's easy, but it's not. I don't think it's going to happen now. There's about me, both 5% chance if that is why it's gonna get one now. My nan thinks it's better if I just keep having a worker with me all the time, which I don't really care having a worker with me all the time. I don't really want that happening, but it seems like that's how it's gonna be. Anyways, I just wanna give you an update that I know I haven't been on that much, but that's just how my life is going right now. So leave down in the comments below and let me know how you would you would afford a service dog if you have one. So if you have a service dog already of some kind, how could you afford to get in one? I know they're so expensive, twenty thousand dollars to get one. I know that's like ten ten times more than what I could afford right now. So, I would be needing some help getting the service dog. I'll just have to try to find a way to do it. But until then, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and give it a big thumbs up. Bye for now.